Hello and welcome to Thyrus Web Development Tips and Tutorials. Today's video we will see how to install and set up Tailwind CSS in a React app. We're going to go straight to the documentation and within the integration guides, let's go to create React app. This documentation is actually very clear, but I'm going to demonstrate it to you. Let's first start by creating a new project. So open terminal. I'm going to cd into my desktop and here let's create a new project by using npx create react app npx create react app I'm going to call it react tailwind it needs to install the following yes After a lot of installation, this is done. Now let's cd into our directory, react tailwind. And I would like to open this project up in VS Code. So let me type code space dot. This is what we have. Let's open terminal within this. And now let me go back to the documentation. And here, this is what we need to do to install Tailwind CSS and its dependencies. Now, if you notice, we are not installing Tailwind CSS, the latest version. Instead, we are installing a compatibility build because post CSS 8 is not yet supported by Create React app. So we have copied this, paste it here. Once this is done, you will notice that all the dependencies have been added here. Next, since Create React app doesn't let you override post CSS configuration natively, we also need another package now. So npm install Krako, paste that here. Once this is done, let's update the scripts in package.json file to use Krako instead of React scripts. So in place of this, let's paste these three. So in script, ignore eject, paste all these three. And now we need to manually create this crackle.config.js at the project root. So let me do that using command line, touch dot config.js and that's here let's copy this and paste it here save the file now now what this does is it adds tailwind css and auto prefixer as post css plugins next we need to generate our tailwind.config.js and the way to do that is npx tailwind css in it so let's do that npx tailwind css in it so that creates our tailwind.config.js with all the default options leave this as it is for now let's see what's next next we need to include tailwind in our css so within the source folder let's open the index.css and remove everything that's there instead paste these styles save the file what tailwind does is it will swap these directives out at build time with all the styles it generates based on your configured design system now we need to ensure that the css file that we just pasted these is being imported in the index.js file let's see index.js already has index.css imported so that's done and now that's it we should be able to use tailwind css now let's go to our app.js within the source folder and i will just remove all of these within the root div and also the logos and here let me just add one div that has a full width with full head screen flex justify center 
item center just to make everything appear at the center and within this I'll just add one single heading with the bold font text 5xl and text indigo maybe text indigo 600 saying hello tailwind css now let's see if this works all we need to do is npm start and here we go we have our tailwind utility classes working so we see that text indigo 600 has translated to this text 5xl and so on right so this works great i'm not sure if you noticed but we skipped one step in the document which is this now that's because i want to show you first what happens when we skip the step and just build this for production so let's go back and do npm run build i'll stop this and say npm run build So here we will see a warning that Tailwind is not purging unused styles because no template paths have been provided. Anyway, let's see what we end up with. So once this is done, we have our build folder. Within this, we have our generated styles. So let's open this in Finder and let me just check the information so you see that it's 3.2 mb size that is huge for just a couple of elements that we have used this is where we need to mention the paths wherever we have used the tailwind utilities so that tailwind makes sure to remove all other unused styles all other unused utility classes and gives you a very small file now let's copy this and go to tailwind.config.js, replace it with this line, save the file, and now do an npm run build. You see, no warning now. This is done. Now let's check the size of this file. And here you go. It's just 4KB now that Tailwind has purged all the unused CSS. So you're good to go. Congratulations, now you can start using Tailwind CSS in your React app. Thank you for watching. Hit a like and share this video ahead. If you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a single video from Tyrus.